Hello and welcome back to the next episode of Nekopara. We're here in the park or somewhere. And those two want to go on some rides. And uh, oh, wait, let me rest really seriously. Light headed, I sat on the bench feeling groggy. To think amusement parks could pack this much punch. Yeah, they can. Especially if you're with two very energetic cat girls. I know, I get it. Just give me a second. Of course, Chocola is very understanding. Um, so, you want to would go with chocolate, but would wait for me. Well, they are pretty, pretty. Looks pretty good. Vanilla wasn't pleased with having her cheek poked. Well, that's just what she's saying. Her tail was sticking straight up all the time at home though. According to what Chakla said, she had to be really careful not to do that while we're out today. Otherwise her tail would lift up the, lift up the back of her skirt. Oh, well, that would... Not be very good. That's not the sort of things we humans would ever have to worry about, though. Well, you know, there are certain situations when something similar happens. Those clothes look good on both of you. <laughs> Yay! Where does she get all that money from? Just a little bit. Not not really happy. Not happy. Just a little bit happy. She spun around and showed me her back. The white clothes sparkled in the sh sunshine. It was very cute and seeing them all dressed up made today even more special. Not that Vanilla would ever admit she felt that way. Yeah, they look good. I said it one more time. <laughs> she certainly seems very happy. Just a little bit. Not too much. Oh god. Um, the two fluttered about as they teased each other, seeing how happy Chocolate and Vanilla were. Made me glad I took the day off, even if it was inconvenient. Nah, it's okay. Well, there were certain reasons I couldn't sleep. Don't you think? That's right, I've been a bit tired lately, so we've come here for a bit of fun. You guys don't need to worry about anything. Just go be cat girls and enjoy yourselves. The two of them looked into my eyes worriedly, so I messed with their hair. <laughs> oh great, Keshi. Congratulations. Ah, oh, kitty cat girls. Oh, no, these aren't Yakejima's cat girls. They are amusement parks cat girls. So, the amusement park has cat girls for adversity or something like that. 
ちょっと飾りたいのあいいですかでも The hesitant mother looked over towards me I don't mind at all They say they, they, say they want to too かわいいって言ってくれたし写真くらいなんでもないです Yeah, I guess. Well, little strange, but okay. So that's how it is. Could I have you take a picture for us, too? So you got to this t e r a o o t o b a n i a my sassy t a day. Hi, Arigato, Neko Chantachi. Neko Chantachi. Kitty Cat Girl. All right. Bunch of pictures. Uh, I, I could get money for that. Ah, oh, that's a business idea. Fuck the bakery, we're gonna take cat girl photo shoots. Yes. Rapid fire super paparazzi burst. Whoa, holy fuck. What an unexpected scene. For me, Chuck and the Vanilla were still like children. But I suppose even cat girls might have maternal instincts like humans or women do. 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 I was adorable. It was adorable seeing them playing with a child. They're acting more big sister like than usual. <laughs> That's right. Of course it is. I mean, aren't there like photographs around here or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Say cheese. What? Am I supposed to take like a hundred pictures or what? What? Super not. Um, alright. So, if I'm taking photos of a tree, I have to know how the tree feels? I guess. I'm taking more. Smile, smile. More love. What am I supposed to do? Should I fuck the camera or what? It's just a picture! The pouty faces were so cute that I kept provoking them intentionally. How wonderfully sweet this moment was. I must be in pretty good spirits myself if I were thinking that. Haha! <laughs> 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 so that's infringement of cat girl's personal rights. Alright. So she puts enough love in her photos. That's supposed to be a smile? I know you can do better. Um. Alright. So, that's Vanilla Smile. And. Now they're gonna get embarrassed. Or. Are they? Are they not? Are they? They're not. Alright. How was that bullying? Well, I guess. More or less. I have to memorize that. So this does look like a date after all. I thought about the, that again as I texted the photo to Shigure. Of course, there was no doubt that it was a date. S no. 
No, if I say it like that, it sounds kind of negative. Yeah, if I were to say it flat out, thinking about how others might view this make me, makes me feel a bit bashful. I'm well aware that it's a bit weird for me to be thinking about how wonderful things are. Yes, yes. Another one. Huh? Am I grinning? Ultra grinning. Donald around. Alright. Now that's a little face. Uh, dude, it's not like that at all. That stare is really... Really... Uncomfortable. Alright, okay, she's back to normal. Good. Yeah. You two are plenty perverted yourselves, you know? Oh, yes. They are. They certainly are. Oh, well. That's right, we can't argue with that. At least they know it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. With full smiles, the two of them wrapped themselves around my arms. I couldn't escape it, even if I tried. So cat girls changed as they grew up too. I tried to hide the face I was making as I thought that. But if I stopped thinking about it, it'd come back later. Yeah, I guess it is. It's not really What kind of relaxing are you talking about? Oh. oh. Then you guys don't get to either. I set a set I set aside the stage just for you guys after all. What's coming next? <laughs> Must be so aggressive. Oh, I'm so aggressive. My spirits were just as high as theirs, with each one wrapped around my arm. The three of us headed deeper into the amusement park. Oh, okay, they're going into amusement park. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Good. Ah, uh, aquarium. I hope they don't like go and catch the fish. Yes. Uh. Oh, when did they get to stuffed animals? Hey, if you two don't watch where you're going, you'll trip. They have sharks in there? What the fuck? That's a fucking whale there? Holy shit. That's a pretty fucking big aquarium. So, you're making me buy more, or what? My warnings were completely ignored as the gleaming eye looked around the aquarium. Shining rays of sun beamed down from directly overhead, making a mystical sheen spread throughout the surrounding scenery. It was promoted as a walk in the sea, and that's what it really was. It really was like we were walking right through the middle of the sea. Let's see, the information sign says it's a green chromis. I wonder what it tastes like. You don't really need to remember that. I thought, smiling as I watched over the two. Overjoyed cats. Cat girls. Don't have cats. Cat girls. 
this whole thing would be very strange if it were cats. Holy fuck. It would be disturbing. Oh my god, oh no, oh, I'm imagining it, oh god, no. Oh, fuck, get out of my head. Why did I think about that? Yeah, it's because you two worked hard and got your bells. What good girls? Now that's a smile. The gold and silver bells jingled almost as if in response. Who knew they'd be this happy? I should have taken them here sooner. With how busy the store was, this really wasn't the best timing. But I didn't have many other choices. And what she wants to show us will be revealed in the next part of Nekopara. If you liked the part, leave a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. You can also subscribe to not miss any new episodes of anything. And check out my other videos. So everybody, have a good day, morning, evening, midday, whatever, night, and see you next time. Bye!